Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. In this reading, we're going to be checking out what are the energies surrounding you, past, present and future regarding your love life. We're going to be seeing what potential obstacles you may be enduring this week in your love life. We're going to be checking out what blessings are coming in. We're going to be seeing the advice for the week and the most likely outcome. We are also going to be taking a look at your person and what energies are surrounding them regarding um, regarding their romantic um, love life or their love for you and how they feel about you, how they feel about themselves and how they feel about a third party or karmic situation that is affecting their love life. Okay, Capricorn. Past energy, present energy, future energy. We're going to see here some clarification upon um, your present energy. We're going to see blessings and we're going to see obstacles and we're going to see uh, what advice and the most likely outcome. Okay. Your person. going to be the past energy, present energy, and the future energy, how they feel about you, how they feel about themselves, and how they feel a third party three together or an external um influence okay bottom of the deck you are the queen of cups your person is the nine of swords i feel like you feel quite chilled at the moment i don't know whether you're chilled in regards to your love life or something else but i'm feeling quite a chilled sort of energy um the person is not chilled <laughs> Your person is, I feel like your person as well, it wants order. I saw before I started to shuffle that I, my attention was due to uh, the death card at the bottom of the deck. So maybe your, your person has been going through something and they want, you know, everything has been a bit chaotic and they've transformed a bit and they want to bring some order in. But we'll take a look anyway. So... Here, you are two of cups, yeah. I feel like you're just chilled. Everything's kind of good, you know. You're the queen of cups. Here, you're the two of cups. Everything's all good. Your person is a seven of rods. Your person is going through something. Maybe you're with someone. Maybe you have a, maybe you have a person and this is somebody from the past that you're maybe checking out this reading for. But I feel like you're all good, but your person is going through something major here. There's a death going on. Your person is going through some sort of transformation. I feel like there's something spiritual going on with your person. Your present energy, we have the eight of wands. And I feel like this is more like you, your, this is state stability for me. Yeah, we see this as, you know, movement and travel and stuff. But with this card, can you see like the run, the, the rods are kind of like pointing up to the sky. It's more in regards to communication coming in. So you're receiving communication from, from a higher source here. Yeah, you're downloading stuff here. So I feel like the only kind of action and movement that is coming in is really kind of from the universe down into the earth here.
and I feel like this is very futuristic kind of energy. There's something being downloaded through you into the earth that is going to evolve something. This is like, um, this isn't that sort of ancient healing, mother earth, nurturing, that's Let's bring the energy up from the earth to heal you. This is like I'm bringing something into the earth to evolve the earth, to evolve the physical world. So you may be getting a lot of ideas kind of coming through in, in regards to uh, your physical world, your physical environment, the earth. You may be getting some sort of ideas coming through in regards to inventions or s stuff like that as well. But there's some information that is coming through here. Um, yeah, you've got brand new, brand new information and inspiration for something here. I feel like your love life's all good. Everything's kind of all good for you. You're in this happy, content thing, and you're working on something else now. You're growing in in your contentment. Yeah, you you know what? If you've got Virgo in your chart, check out the Virgo reading because you're very similar to Virgo. Right, you've got the star as your thoughts. Yeah, you are. You and Virgo are really similar. You're downloading information and you're do, going to be doing something. You're going to be inventing something or creating something or starting something. Like, love life's all good for you. Everything's harmonized. So you're going to bring be now of service and bringing something into the world, into into planet Earth. If it, you're going to be sharing your love, okay? So you are the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups. You're full of love. You see there with the star, she's just emitting her love and her energy out everywhere. And that's kind of what you're going to be doing. You're going to be using this power and this energy to admit, to emit your energy out everywhere in, in, over the Earth. You're going to bring something in incredible that is going to uh, change it's going to change the earth. You're going to help to grow new things. This is downloaded. This is like you're downloading um, information and inspiration um, and ideas from the universe, from different stars, different galactics. All different energy is coming through you to bring into the earth. You're going to create something. You're going to start something here. Um, okay, so in your emotions, yeah, you literally, this is just the same as Virgo. This is literally just the same as Virgo. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're ready. Everything's happy. You're content and you're ready to start building. You are ready to build and nurture the earth here. <laughs> you're going to be nurturing the earth with downloads from galactic energy. Look, that's you. This is incredible. Um, in your physical world, here we have the Eight of Cups. I feel like this is just kind of going to be you needing to, um, to juggle. You're going to need to juggle and harmonise. And there's a lot of different cups in many different areas. And I feel like you're going to, at the moment, it's like what? what what am I going to be focusing on? How can I focus on everything, yeah? But I feel like every, you don't need to worry about this because everything is going to be incredible here. You've got these different cups in different areas, but I feel like you're going to be combining all these cups. I'm not taking it as you're walking away from something here. Um, but maybe you are wa walking away. Maybe you could be walking away from like an old job to start something new. But I feel like more so it's not you're not in a mindset of walking away. It's not in that mindset of loss because you are in this mindset of abundance and love and, and everything's great. And I feel like all different areas, this could be different jobs, this could be different people, this could be family, this could be work, this could be, you know, friends, all different areas that you are connected with, yeah, that you have connections with, that you have love for, you are going to um, combine I feel like you're going to combine them. You're going to connect everything. Instead of trying to spread yourself and keeping things separate, you're going to combine everything and things are going to start working together. People are going to be putting their own kind of ingredients in. Different areas are going to be able to um, work together to create something whole. You know, so it's going to be combining something. I'm I really... 
you're going to have to let me know in the comments of what you guys are going to be creating because I feel you're going to be really uh, connecting many people, many different areas, um, many different uh, topics, many different um, uh, services, all different things, all together and 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 utilizing all these skills and all this wisdom to create something incredible yeah to which is going to give a whole heap of love to the world now your person that you're having this reading for is the queen of pentacles they're the queen of pentacles as well so your person is going through something they or they have recently been through something they've recently been through a transformation of some sort I feel like they're on the page they're on the same page as you. This person's on the same page as you. I feel like you're with this person. And they've been going through something, they've had to release something, and it's been really horrible for them. It's been really, really hard and horrible, and they've gone through a major transformation. They've had a death and rebirth. They are on the same vibe as you, they're inspired by you. Yeah, you're inspiring them and they're wanting to work with you. Here, look, spiritually, they've ended a cycle, but they have got the world on their mind. Their thoughts are upon happiness and joy. Their feelings, they're psychic. This person is intuitive. And in their physical world, they've got the lovers. You've got the two of cups, they've got the lovers. This person is your partner, I feel. If you two aren't together, I feel that this person is wanting to do the same thing that you're doing. Like they're gaining inspiration energetically from you. Okay. But I feel like, I feel like, and, and this may be your internal energies. This two of cups may be your internal energies that have connected, that have moved you into this incredible energy here and moved you into this queen of cups. So if this is, if you're single, okay, and this is your person and, you know, you've been going through a lot and, and, they, and you haven't felt that they have been on the same page as you, they are on the same page as you now and they will, I feel that they may be coming forward, they are inspired by you and they want to do what you're doing also. So this could be a teammate. If you're with someone else and you're checking for another person, your person has been going through something major but you, they're energetically downloading from you and you're inspiring them to do something in their life and maybe they will get another partner to do that with um, if you are already taken with someone else. Now, if this is your person and you're together, you may have had a rocky, you may have had a rocky patch, but everything's, everything at the moment, you're just synchronized. Near future, we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be moving forwards upon your mission really quickly. I feel like these kind of obstacles of how am I going to manage everything? How am I going to do this? How am I going to, you know, how am I going to be able to cope when I have all of these, these other, you know, people who depend on me or these other responsibilities or, you know, all these things. I feel like this is going to be you. Um, learning how to manage these things step by step. There's going to be a plan and a process that goes on where you are going to be mastering this. You are literally going into a phase of universal love. You're, um, you're receiving love. You are love. You are literally this divine mother energy. And your masculine energy is taking action upon... Um, this divine inspiration and you're going to be making some huge changes not just for yourself or your family but for many many people for many many like for animals for nature for the universe you know all sorts of things I wouldn't be surprised if you and Virgo go into something that is maybe like really focused upon nature natural living the ecosystem or support health, good health, emotional health, mental health, all sorts of things that are going to, you know, animal rescues or, you know, all sorts of different things like that. That's in regards to um, kind of humanitarianism and community. It's like your love is spreading out just beyond you and another person. And you're going to be sharing this love to a whole, you know, in oneness. 
um, your person is going to be going within themselves to seek enlightenment. I feel like this person may be supporting you. This person may find answers um, to problems you endure. And then if they're not with you, you may energetically receive these answers from this person. Or if you're together, you will. this person will be sharing with you because this person is very psychic also. This person is majorly psychic. We've got two really psychic people here. Um, okay, so obstacles this week. We have judgment, decisions. Yeah, these decisions. I feel like you just don't, don't worry. If you're in a state of worry, look, this guy looks worried. He looks really worried. He looks overwhelmed and worried with all of these cups in all these different places. Like... And they're just not in order. I feel like then they're, they're just not kind of in order. I feel like maybe your partner will bring in some kind of system um, to help bring certain things into order. You know, oh, this this cup in this area can benefit this cup in this box. You know, they, they can kind of work together. So we can pull them together. And then instead of two cups, then that's one cup. And then this cup can join as well because this cup can contribute um, in this way to this and you're going to pull all of these cups yeah into one great big cup and you're going to do it in teamwork you're doing this in teamwork your partner is going to be working with you they they have been going through a lot but um, and transforming but they are in this with you whether you're separated or not whether you have other partners or not you know this is like more of a a, a world kind of love here a collective love i feel like even if you're not together and you have a partner and this person has a partner i feel like they will be their kind of the physical partners but you, the, you two people are soulmates this is an energetic connection here probably twin flames here um but i feel this is really a, someone that you're with to be honest, who has been going through a hard time um, while well, they've been going through a transformation. Um, or, or you are going to be connecting with this person and working um, with this person. They're going to come and join you and, be, and they will be your partner. Um, let me know in the comments how that applies. Blessings. Blessings. We have here the Nine of Cups. You see... The Eight of Cups is going gonna, is gonna to turn into the Nine of Cups. Happiness, joy, contentment. You see that one big sun, yeah? One big soul. Um, oneness. The law of oneness and happiness here. Look, she's got all sorts. She's got solutions. Look at all of her geometry going on in her cups. Look at that. You're incredible. And your partner's incredible. You're both incredible. I feel like I want to be your friends. I feel like I want, I want you guys in my life. Right. Okay, advice. Advice for the week is the king of swords. Yeah, just stay grounded. Stay in that king energy. Stay logical. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't get stressed out. Just plan. Plan, plan, plan. Be very logical and methodical with this situation. Just, if there's problems, have a breather and try to work out solutions. If you have got a partner with you, you can work them out together. If not, ask the universe. Ask the universe because, I mean, they're just downloading everything to you. So you can just ask them for a solution for a problem and they'll just send, they'll just send the information down to you. Okay, so most likely outcome, we have the tower. So there's going to be a sudden change that occurs. I feel like this is going to be something good. I feel like where you've been spreading yourself thin in your physical world, that is going to change. I feel like you're going to have a new system. There's going to be some new structure that is going to be built, that is going to free up your time. You're going to be using your time efficiently. You're going to be connecting um, all different areas into one and sharing the love all together. I feel like you're going to be connecting people together. Things are going to be working more effectively, efficiently, time efficiently, and you're going to be creating connections, new connections between all the areas that you love, all the groups of people that you love, all the different things that you love. You're bringing it into oneness, and it's going to be it's going to be one bigger giant cup of love, and that will be like your new structure, and it will allow you to breathe.
it's gonna that's gonna free up some time now how your partner feels about you we've got the moon they're really emotional regarding you how they feel about themselves is the page of pentacles now your partner may have been going through self-worth issues they may with that death and this nine of swords right they may be feeling a little bit of um, self-worth issues, right? They may be feeling maybe that they are not up to the job for you or they're not capable or deserving of you or that you, you know, uh, then you're stronger than them or something. They've got some sort of emotions in regards to you and it's illusions and I feel like they are just been transmuting. They've been transmuting that because I feel like, um, I feel like, they love you. Now, how they feel about external things, the ships are coming in. I feel like this is more to do with their journey that they're going on. Their own spiritual journey and um, kind of uh, death and rebirth and the transformation. Maybe this is them as well. This is a bit of your partner as well, this this tower. They're transforming. They're letting go of, of certain issues or burdens that they had and something new is coming in and I just feel like they're patient they are wanting order because things have been chaotic chaotic so they're receiving it and they are very they've become very very awoke very connected very in tune but they're on the same page as you but there's a little bit of their own personal self-worth issues here but they love you very much now this is what i've got for you for this week let me know how you find this reading if this resonates with you um if you like this reading give me a thumbs up um and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you would um if you if you're wanting to know some more you know this is i mean gosh i just feel like I feel like giving you guys a clap. I'm telling you, I feel this is incredible. This makes me feel excited. This really makes, not just for you, but for the world, it makes me feel excited. Um, so yeah, guys, take care. Have a great week.